Welcome to our lecture online and here our next problem or next example is what we call the bike ride. A person wants to go bike riding, wants to cover a total distance of 20 miles and rides the first 10 miles at a speed of 8 miles per hour. It would be fairly easy to figure out how long that will take because we know that distance equals velocity times time so time equals distance divided by velocity so a total of 10 miles divided by 8 miles per hour and that looks like 1.25 hours one and a quarter hours is the time that it would take to get to this point right here so this would be 1.25 hours to get to this point all right now the bike the bike rider wants to have an average velocity for the total of 20 miles of 12 miles per hour how much faster does that bike rider have to ride during the second half of the trip to achieve the average velocity of 12 miles per hour. So what we could do here is to say, all right, if we draw a velocity versus time graph, velocity versus time, and we want this to be the average velocity for the total time, so this would be time total, and this would be velocity average, which is equal to 12, and of course that would be miles per hour for the units, miles per hour then we can say that this is the area and we know that the area covers the total area would be 20 miles so we can say that the area here is equal to 20 miles and we know that the area is equal to the length times the width of the rectangle so the area is equal to the length which is the total time which we don't know what that is time total times the width which is the average velocity of 12 miles per hour the area total is 20 so we say 20 is equal to time total times 12 or time total is equal to 20 divided by 12. so what is 20 divided by 12? it would be 1.667 hours or one and two-thirds hours and we know that the total time t total is equal to t1 plus t2 which means that t2 is equal to t total minus t1 t total would be equal to um, 1.67 hours minus 1.25 hours so subtract 1.25 from that and we get t2 is equal to 0 0.417 hours so now we know how long it takes for the second part of the trip this part of the trip here will now take 0 0.417 hours and we can now use the same kind of concept we draw a second graph we have a velocity versus time so the velocity of the second trip a second part of the trip we'll call it v2 the time is now known, the time is 0 0.417 hours and the area, area 2, is equal to 10 miles, that's the second part of the trip so again, area is equal to the length times the width or 10 is equal to the length which is 0 0.417 hours times the width which is the velocity of the second part of the trip so v2 is equal to 10 divided by 0 0.417 so take the inverse of that and times 10 and we get 24 miles per hour so that would be the velocity required during the second part of the trip the last 10 miles 24 miles per hour in order to achieve an average velocity of 12 if the first 10 miles were covered at a speed of 8 miles per hour again the concept is clear it's velocity versus time the height is the average velocity in the first case the width is the total time the second graph the height is the velocity of the second part and the width is the time it took to travel the second part the area of the total here that would be 20 miles for the total area and 10 miles for the second part of the trip for the second graph and that's how we use graphics here to solve these physics problems in one dimension